So it's been a while, but uh, since the last time we were here, Capcom's put out some new DLC for Resident Evil Village, so I thought we could go check it out. Oh, cool. What is it? Even so, though the screen please... says so, please tell me. <laughs> so first off, there's a new third person mode for the main campaign. Uh, we won't really be covering this, but because everything will I have to say about it will be covered in uh, what we're here to actually cover. Will uh, we be able to see Ethan's face? No. <laughs> oh. They're keeping that a very tight-lipped secret. Also, for the love of God, turn the tutorials on. Yes. Uh, this the DLC expansion we're going to be covering, Shadows of Rose introduces lots of new mechanics throughout its entire runtime, and it will not tell you how to do them if you have tutorials off. Hey, Kay. Sorry I'm late. It's okay, I'm just enjoying the day. You said you had something important to tell me? I hope it's not about Chris wanting me to join his operation, because I already told him that's not happening. I see what he puts you and the rest of his hound wolf squad through. <laughs> no, thank you. It's not about that. It is about you. Me? I... I worry about you. How is, um... How are things at school? <laughs> Seriously, that's what you wanted to talk to me about? That group of mean girls still hassling you? I mean, are they still treating me like a freak? Hey! Uh-uh. Look at me. You are not a freak. I am. You know I am. That's why I keep my distance from everybody at school. If they knew what I really was... So... You don't have any friends that you can talk to? <laughs> talk to? About what? How I'm hardly even human? How I'm some kind of horrendous monster? <laughs> but, hey, it's okay. I hardly ever murder my friends. What if there were a way to get rid of your powers? <laughs> I get rid of them in a heartbeat. All right, well, I think there's something I need to show you. You already know about Miranda and the mutamycete, how she researched it obsessively and performed experiments on human subjects. Like me. Exactly. Uh, what you don't know is that we recently found some of her research. Apparently, she discovered a purifying crystal that can remove the mutamycete from its host. Purifying crystal? If we can get our hands on one of these, we might be able to weaken or remove your powers entirely. Are you kidding me? No. No, but her notes are incomplete. However, I think I have an idea where we can find the rest of her research. Then let's do it. Let's find it. Where is it? Uh, in there. What? That's a fragment of the Megamycete. It absorbs and stores memories from people who pass away in close proximity, including Miranda, and everything she knows. If you enter its consciousness, you might be able to solve the mystery of the purifying crystal. Wait, what do you mean, enter its consciousness? Oh, so, okay, so you, your deep connection will allow you to explore the information within. That sounds crazy. You sound crazy. Yes, 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 Rose, but not dangerous, right? Think of it just like walking through somebody else's memories. You really think this can work? I think it's worth trying. What do you have to lose? Uh, how do I even do this? <laughs> Shit, I, I don't know. Try reaching out to it. See what happens. Okay. Fine. What the hell? Oh my god, 
Rose is so weird. Yeah. It's like she sees things that aren't there. Creepy. Stay away from us, you creep. Imagine wanting to be friends Ugh, she's with her. Definitely. Ew. Not something just moved on her hand. What's wrong with her? Shut up. Yeah. Rose feels it's like she sees things that aren't there. Freak. I'm still here. Kay. Kay? Where are you? Kay! This isn't right. So welcome to Shadow of Rose. This is uh, entirely in the third person, so it's and it's also the same engine as the uh, the main campaign's third person mode. So any complaints that we have here will apply to the main game. For starters, movement is really fucking weird. Uh, you still control like you're in first person, which feels really really awkward in third person. Like it's <clears throat> you can't really walk at a diagonal, and you can really only sprint going straight forward. If you try to move any other direction than straight forward, you're moving glacially slow. And I can't really comment on the movement because I only played this once at launch and I've basically forgotten all of it. <laughs> it hasn't even been that long. How did I forget? <laughs> I mean, this is a relatively quick, uh, quick story beat. Like, I don't know, seven-ish hours? Yeah, um, fair. Wait. Where did, I get, where did I get seven hours? It's, it's more like two to three. Yeah, I, I don't know where you got seven, but yeah, <laughs> two to three hours, give or take. Wait, what? Huh. Hey, th this isn't the lab hall. This is more like a catacomb. Built on a Dutch angle. <laughs> I don't remember all this exposed brick that's just leaning over. So if it wasn't clear, we are in control of Rose Winters, uh, Ethan and Mia's daughter from the main game. This is a this this happens just before the very end cutscene of the main campaign. Uh, this this will uh, I guess get us to the point where, you know, we understand why what where Rose's uh love for her father comes from. So you're saying we don't get rid of our cool powers. I don't know what the relevance of this shoe over here is. It's just kind of there. Is it one of her shoes except you know a, a duplicate because she's clearly got both shoes on still so gross what is this whatever it is it's slimy and i don't i mean it could be one of her shoes her other pair of shoes because right now she's wearing like white high tops like you know converses let me out Is someone there? Dangerous here. What is? Why? Hang tight. I'm gonna see if I can find a key. Now I can't help but think about that comment she made about Chris wanting her to go on uh, operations. <laughs> Oof. I mean, I mean, her, uh, 
potential could be real good for those operations. That's a lot of bodies. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Uh. Oh, again. I wish there were a prompt for that that slab. That's my name. <laughs> okay, the way she delivered that, it's like it took her a second to realize. <laughs> Oh. That's less funny. Yeah, that's a little, uh, spooky. Looked like it stained her shoes real bad too. Like I don't know if she's ever gonna get that out. Just gonna have to buy a new pair. Uh, I guess. Uh, I guess chucks aren't exactly you know expensive. So she will also refuse to go walk into the goo. If in case anyone was wondering. I mean, I wouldn't want to walk in the goo. <laughs> Ugh. But what about walking under the goo? Uh, not a big fan of that either. <laughs> That's just the journal entry from earlier. Oh, he didn't put it on camera again. <laughs> Wait, what? I, I thought you were going to sweep over the, uh, the, the rose written on the desk. Oh. <laughs> so I could say... Well, that's her name. <laughs> huh? What was that? What's that? Is, is this the part where you accept your, uh, your other self and gain the mask that lets you, uh, tackle life's challenges or whatever it was? I'm not picking up the reference you're putting down. <laughs> it's Persona 4. Oh. Oh. I, I guess, yes, I technically should have gotten that reference. <laughs> So yeah, all, all we gotta do now is follow our doppelganger, uh, and help her open the way past this, uh, this body? You should probably help her, you. Help, help you to help her. Help me lift. Yeah, that. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it, I'm on it. Hey, 
Wait, where are you going? So, unlike the main game, I don't... It's been a while, but I don't think there's any way to actually manually crouch as Rose. So, when you need to go under, or like crawl space like that, Rose will just, uh, get down to the floor by herself. That's not freaky at all. Yeah, that's that's weird. It's, that's bad. There are more, and they all look just like me. Do you know what's happening here? Hey, are you listening to me? Oh no! It's gone. I need to open the gate. And the switch handle's missing. All right, I suppose we'll be the uh, the competent ones to get and go find it. Oh no, there is crouching. Never mind. <laughs> Instant contradiction. Nice. Look, in my defense, it's been a while since I recorded this. We were planning on doing this earlier, but, uh, stuff happened, so... Yeah! So yeah, here's the map. Uh, go into it by tapping on the touchpad. Or the back button if you're using an Xbox controller. So many bodies. Oh. And that's that's really gotta fuck you up, just like crawling over your own corpses. <laughs> Did that really? Oh god! Yep, that's a switch handle, all right. It's got the yellow tape to know to indicate that uh you should go to it. Mm-hmm. Well, yellow paint, rather. <laughs> what? Can't go that way, so we'll just have to use this convenient crate that uh was you know, just over there. So yeah, the gate is going to be real slow, so you just got to kite this dude around until uh, you can get away. I think he's the only one, so... Yeah, not, not too harrowing. Yeah, the, the others are stuck in jail. It's fine. Although we do seem to have them popping out of the goo, so... We also seem to have fewer Rose clones and more of the enemies. Earth. 
So yeah, uh, if it hasn't been clear, this, this DLC is going to be a lot of psychological torture for Rose. Also, here's a fun bug. The, uh, sometimes these, uh, textures can get fucked up and load in the wrong one. <laughs> I didn't have that in my run. That's cool. I had that across two of my runs. That's super cool. Yeah, so I can't go this way. Though you're supposed to go to the right. But, you know, the game's telling me to go left. It's super fucked up. Yeah, you're, you're losing your, uh... I, I don't I don't know what life force I guess Constitution ah uh. but now that we're here we're safe thanks a lot mystery helper seriously the door was the other way <laughs> Did I forget about that texture thing? 